everyone and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video I am back. I'm sorry for not uploading in a month. Personal stuff went on. I had a massive relapse. I'm going to shove it over there because you're not here for that right? You're here to see what is with my iPhone XR and how I edit my Instagram photos. Now people have asked me to do Instagram photos for such a long time and I have never got around to do it. Without further ado I'm going to jump straight in the video because I can't show you my phone right now because I'm filming on it, but give this video a thumbs up and do subscribe if you're not already. But thank you for 2,000 subscribers. Um, I'm just going to be showing you what is on my iPhone, basically all the apps, my layout, um, and pretty much kind of how I edit my Instagram photos. So my lock screen is just me and my friends. So this is the first home page of the three and the look, my background is just me and my best friend Mary. For when we kind of did a kind of photo shoot, kind of not intentional photo shoot. But on the first page I have FaceTime, calendar, camera, photos. It's just pretty much typically the apps that come with the phone however I changed the weather app to BBC weather and then I changed maps to Google Maps I also like kind of moved the music out there because I use like Spotify more and then I used to also have the Tesco mobile app of course and then in here is just pretty much the apps that nobody ever uses which is like voice memos compass tips and then also the phone it comes with iMovie installed already so I'm just gonna keep iMovie stocks files and TV so they're just pretty much the boring stuff and then at the bottom it's just the normal apps which is the phone Safari messenger and then I swap Apple music to of course Spotify on my next page this is the typical page that I use the most so I have messenger snapchat if you want to add me on snapchat I'm just gonna put it up now my snapchat is just jadzia101 but i do quite use snapchat quite a bit <laughs> then i have instagram everybody knows i have instagram if you're not following it yet it's just jad forever it is my typical old youtube name then i have telegram and this is kind of where i kind of engage with other instagrammers bloggers and whatnot this is where i kind of find new people to follow like the like the posts kind of get more engagement back so yeah then i have netflix twitter so my twitter is just jads forever like normal then i have youtube well everybody knows youtube youtube studio then i have first bus for like my bus pass then i have a year in pixels which is basically where you just kind of say did you have a nice day and then you kind of rate your day so my day has been and then you kind of see your overview of like how your kind of year in pixel is going it kind of shows you how your mood is throughout the year then i have a folder called travel i don't know what's called travel but then i have the bank um youtube coin sweat coin which is basically where you walk and kind of you walk and earn coins which you can kind of save up to like bigger stuff and vouchers and whatnot and i have costa because then i have a bit emoji pinterest and on the next page i have for me which is an app run by childline if you ever need to speak to someone now people the only reason i kind of have this i haven't used it in such a long time it's just in case i kind of get in a bit of a crisis then i have seven cups where i'm a listener i've kind of taken a break from that because um, my own mental health needs more of a focus. Then I have Shazam, Pacer, Boots and Facebook. And my Facebook is kind of private. Then I have photo and video. This is where all my photo apps come into play. So I have Fuji, Afterlight, Airbrush, Snapseed. I'm going to get a lot of notifications come through today. Instagram Analyzer where it's basically you can kind of see who unfollows you. Unfollow is basically a math, like kind of a... I guess in a way it's kind of a binge unfollow. I can't think of the word, but it's just like you can unfollow people. I can follow a bunch of people in one go. I have Moldiv, Visco. On the next page, I have Fonto, Free Prints, Lots Motive, I'm not sure, and Color Story. Then on the education folder, I just have Forest, Classroom, and Uni Days. So, Forest is where like you can build trees. You kind of set a timer of how like long you want to stay focused for and if you go onto your phone your tree will die um and you can kind of save up to enough coins to like help buy a tree in real life classroom is for schoolwork 
and uni days to get those cheeky discounts on a lot of stuff but then i have um um and then i have unfold now for the second part of the video i'm going to be showing you how i kind of edit my instagram photos now this is my instagram feed it's not a lot and i do tend to kind of delete stuff archive stuff it's kind of a bit of a mix and match i'm not sure how i feel about it right now is how i edit them now this is this photo is done on the iphone xr it is the portrait mode on the iphone xr on the selfie version i don't know what phones these are on i'm not sure if it's on the x the xs i'm not too sure but i definitely know it's on the iphone xr pretty much the portrait thing so i can't really help you on that one however the rest i can help you with so for my Instagram stories, um, I'm also going to show you about that. I use the app Unfold. As you can see, you, if you have been following my Instagram for some time, you know I have posted these um, recently. I did have more. However, as I got a new phone, they kind of all disappeared. <laughs> so that is how I use that. And then to get the filter onto these photos, I just use the app Hoochie. Now, you can tell I've used this quite a bit. Um, with the free version you only can take a photo then and there by just clicking that button developing and then you go into the lab and it'll be there now you can't see anything due to the fact that my camera is under this like on the sheet so that's why it's nothing coming up however with the paid version which I do pay for uh, which is just a one-time payment what you gotta do is just add some photos so i'm just gonna add this one and then it will come up with this and then you just press begin developing and then it comes up with the photo um it kind of change it into a very retro style like so and these are pretty much all the photos i've done before like so so that's how i kind of do my instagram stories so then to plan my instagram feed i use um um um, this is just basically free app and you log into Instagram. So these at the bottom are my Instagram apps Not apps. These are my Instagram photos that I've already posted and then basically from here is just where I've been trying to plan my feed I'm gonna be taking some more photos add more photos very soon So I've got a lot to post and what I do do on Instagram is I post every two times a week but at the weekend only then on to my kind of normal typical instagram feed for jads forever i use the photo airbrush now the only reason when i use airbrush is when i have like a white background or some white pages or just something in the photo that's white i will literally whiten it mainly i will use visco sometimes i will use different apps but it's mainly visco um i kind of so these are the kind of the photos that i've used so far now okay so I've got two photos, different types of photos to show you of what I edit. Now the fills between these two are very, very quite similar. However, the exposure is a little less bolder. So normally, typically what I do is I will select the image that I've already got the filter on, come to these three dots, press copy edits, and then for that fill, I'm going to use this one because it's not got a photo of me or anyone else in it and then i'll come back to the dots and then i'll just press press paste edits which i have done then i will do the same if i have a photo of myself with this one or kind of the photos with friends in it i will do the same so i'll come to the dots press copy edits and then press paste there is a little similarity and a little bit of difference so i'm just gonna go on to this and then come on to here now i know visco is a costly app and it does cost however i do pay the 18 pounds um a year so as you can see like i've kind of whitened the image up a bit i actually quite like this photo now so the filter i use is a nine at around plus six i expose the photo to about 1.7 to like two now for if it's a selfie it will be just like 0.5 like the exposure is not going up much the contrast is about 1.1 tone for the highlights is about 1.5 temperature is 1.5 tint is about one saturation probably about one skin tone minus six sharpen i'll sharpen the image to about 0 
Clarity will be like 0 0.7. Fade is like 1.1, .1, so I do kind of fade the image a little bit. Sometimes I might, if I fancy, I'll add a bit of grain. And then all I would do is just click on the images I want to save and then press save to camera roll. Just drop it into Instagram or just put it on um, um see what like I want to edit first, like what I want to post first before that. Kind of sort of organise it out. But that is pretty much how I edit my Instagram photos.